Let's talk about adding textures in Photoshop. So first of all, you're gonna wanna accumulate a library of your own textures. You can find these online. You can go to sites like unsplash.com is a great free resource for stock images. You can go out and take pictures on your smartphone of your own textures and use those in your designs. That's what we're gonna be working with today. So I just went out for a walk earlier this year and took a bunch of pictures of walls and things that I saw in passing. So let's take one of these and drag it in to our Photoshop document. And I'm gonna change the background color so we can see the effects better. I'm gonna make a new layer and let's just pick this green and G for my fill tool. I will fill this layer with green. Okay, so we have this wall texture and we wanna make the wall green. So we have the texture on top of our green layer. Now we're gonna change the blend mode, which is this drop down menu right here. And if you go to multiply, that is probably your best bet for changing any texture that's mostly white that has black speckles in it. But you can experiment. I mean, the, the key to like learning blend modes is just scrolling down this list and seeing what effects they do. You might find something that has a really cool effect that you had no idea existed before and it works for that specific design and that's great. And other times you might know exactly what you're looking for. So if you look at divide, it changes the, the black specs to white. That's honestly something I didn't really know. So you never know what you're gonna find. Scroll through these blend modes, but generally a white image with little black pieces of texture is gonna be multiply. And we can also put this over our text layer and you'll see textures is now also textured with this wall. Now with black images, let's say we wanna add some brick wall to this design. We're gonna drag in our image, size it up, holding shift and option. And now we're gonna change the blend mode to screen. Screen is gonna take out all of the blacks from the image and just show the white parts or the highlights of the image. But you can also mess around with these different blending options as well and see what you like. Linear dodge is solid, color dodge is solid. We'll stick with screen. And then you can reduce the opacity of any of these effects just by clicking and holding on the word opacity and scrolling to the left or right when that layer is selected. So we'll leave it there. Now, if you have a non black and white image, like I forgot to change this brick image to black and white, you can set this to screen and it's pretty dark, but you're gonna get some of this brown color on the image and it's it's faint, you know, it's it's like a light wash that's going over it. But if you want only the texture coming through, you should change this to black and white. I would recommend going up to image, adjustments, and then black and white. And from here, you can mess with the reds, I mean, this is a, a red or brown image, so that's gonna affect it the most in this case. And that's just gonna create contrast. If you switch this back to normal, this is now the image. And I would say textures are best used when they are black and white, unless you're trying to do some interesting like color overlays intentionally. One other cool thing you can do is use textures as masks. So I'll show you what I mean. If we want the word texture, only the word texture, to have a texture to it, let's use this brick layer as an example, and I'll turn it on. First of all, you can clip this texture just to this layer, holding option and clicking the space between the layers. That's gonna only affect the layer below it. But if we want these white parts of the image to just be erased from the word textures, so we would have the green coming through, what we can do is, I'm gonna unclip that layer, shift this back to normal, I'm gonna hit Command A to select the whole screen and then Command C to copy. And then we're gonna paste this in the mask of our textures text. So I'm gonna make a layer mask with this layer mask icon and then holding Option, you can click on the mask. And now we're looking at the mask. Then I'm gonna hit Command V to paste our bricks into this texture. And the way layer masks work is that anything in black is not gonna show through, but anything in white will show through on the original layer. So if we click out of this as is, most of the image is not gonna show through. So let's click out of it. You can see very faintly it says textures. 
So let's invert this mask so that we have most of it showing through and just the black parts hidden. And we'll do that by going Command I to flip this mask. And now we can see the desired textured effect where it has these green parts coming through in the brick pattern that we just placed on this layer. Those are just a few examples of using textures in Photoshop. Again, the best thing you can do is kind of keep your own library of these textures that you can pull from from different designs. You might have a really grungy, gritty looking design versus like a smooth, sleek design. You're gonna to wanna to have textures for each of those. So build up that texture library and start texturizing your designs.